Meghan Markle's close friend Olmut Scobie has said said the lack of diversity in the palace is to blame for certain imagery depicted in pictures of the Cambridge's greeting fans in Jamaica. Scobie, best known for co-authoring the biography Finding Freedom which focuses on the family life of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, blasted the palace for not avoiding certain imagery in the highly anticipated pictures of Prince William and Kate Middleton. The images showed them laughing and joking with young Jamaicans, watching the football match from behind a fence. Omit tweeted, I do wonder what the hell palace organizers were thinking with some of yesterday's photo moments. The planning and recon that goes into every step of these engagements is next level, so how did no one think to avoid certain imagery? This is why diversity on a team matters. He added, fans climbing walls, reaching through railings etc. is nothing new, seen it on every tour. However, my point is, given the discussions currently happening, it would have served the situation well to be mindful of how certain scenes might look and think about things contextually. At Jim Felton mocked, Will and Kate, just off to the colonies to shake hands with some caged children. But royal experts quickly commented that separate photos showed England footballer Raheem Sterling, who was born on the island, posing for similar shots with the fans after appearing on the pitch with the royals yesterday. Wider shots also showed the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge smiling, laughing and shaking hands with their supporters through the fence after the match. Royal editor and host of the Pod Save the Queen podcast Russell Myers posted, for all the commentary from tightly cropped pictures of William and Kate saying hello and shaking hands to people standing behind a metal fence, which was actually on a football field after a game, here is Raheem Sterling in the same place doing the same thing yesterday. He added, I don't know where to start with this. Incredibly disappointing manipulation and absolute distortion of facts, supplemented by a completely perverse take which I still can't get my head around. Omid's comments come as the Cambridges posed for smiling selfies and were met with chants of We Love You, We Love You on their first day in Jamaica, on a tour to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. ITV's royal editor Chris Ship dismissed the Fuhrer, tweeting, Can we insert some sense, and facts, into this fence photo in Trench Town? There was a fence around the football pitch. People gathered to watch the match with, Raheem Sterling. William and Kate went to say hello. Just as they also said hello to crowds in the street. End of story. Move on. The Royals also met the Jamaican bobsleigh team, who finished 28th in the recent Winter Olympics, on their week-long tour that will next see them in the Bahamas. The role comes as Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness on Wednesday told the Duke and Duchess that his country wants to be independent and to address unresolved issues. William and Kate are on a week-long tour of former British Caribbean colonies which coincides with Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. However, the visits have prompted public questioning of the British Empire's legacy. Mr. Holness said during a photo opportunity with the Duke and Duchess, there are issues here which as you would know are unresolved. But Jamaica is as you would see a country that is very proud, and we're moving on. And we intend, to fulfill our true ambition of being an independent, fully developed and prosperous country. Dozens of people gathered outside the British High Commission in Kingston on Tuesday, holding banners with the phrase Say Yes Ari, a patwa phrase urging Britain to apologize. Opal Adisa, a Jamaican human rights advocate who helped organize the demonstration, also called for an apology. She said, Kate and William are beneficiaries, so they are, in fact, complicit because they are positioned to benefit specifically from our ancestors, and we're not benefiting from our ancestors. The luxury and the lifestyle that they have had and that they continue to have, traipsing all over the world for free with no expense, that is a result of my great, great-grandmother and grandfather, their blood and tears and sweat. She added, you know, we don't have anything personally against Kate and Prince William, and even the Queen, for that matter, but we're simply saying you've done wrong, and it is way past time that you admit that you've done wrong and when you do, redressing it. Last year, Jamaica's government said it would ask Britain for compensation for forcibly transporting an estimated 600,000 Africans to work on sugarcane and banana plantations that created fortunes for British slaveholders.